Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look again on the gold market. So in the gold, although we have some doubts on the positive perspective for the gold in the long term, in the shorter term, we said that overall action could be bullish as market is forming some bullish patterns and is ready to show some pullback on the market. And actually, this pullback already has started and nearest targets have been completed. So uh, now we we'll keep going with this pattern that we have because overall performance stands relatively strong. And what is more important is that in general, the dynamic of the interest rates supports this pullback. So I will show you what has happened recently on the interest rates. That's concern of all time from chart, the healthy pullback on the 10 year yields let gold to shine a bit better than we thought. That's uh, actually if you remember, we have, well, we consider 1805 as a target that's more probable to be hit by the goal. Uh, this short term retracement, but you can see recently the market has climbed slightly above this area, so it led us to consider the next standing target. At the same time, we should not relax too much as actually the 142 target is the long term OP on the interest rates. And definitely it will be reached. So you can see market already makes some efforts to continue our prediction. Let's check this out whether we have here maybe the grubber or something on that sort. Well, probably not. It's close. 133. Probably, yes, here we have the Polish grubber. Right here, so because this uh, loss, you see me sitting in uh, 1.331, uh, while the close 1.333, and it means that here we have the cover on the follow time from chart. Well, it's just taking out of the stop, and that market will start rising to the 142 area. It's good press on the gold in the short term. So today, the price action could be different, market could show some pullback. But once the market will start the reaction on this 142 area with downward action, because this is, guys, really long-term target. So take a look even on the daily chart. Even you can see it on the weekly. So uh, this is actually this A, B, C bottom. OP stands right here, 142. I'm sorry, not this one. This one, A, B, C bottom. OP stands right here. So it's important to take a look in general 145, 146, it's also FIB level here. So it means uh, that here we could expect significant pullback and that support the gold, which means that in the perspective of a couple of weeks, gold could continue up production. But in the very short term, this this week, maybe in the beginning of the next week, this market could show the response on this level. And uh, so market has to reach this level and that will press on the gold. So gold also could show some pullback, some retracement. Actually, this chart uh, probably you could see already in, a, in a, our Bitcoin analysis because lots of traders who are watching for gold usually watching for a Bitcoin. And just take a look why the Bitcoin has dropped. So if you put here the Bitcoin chart, you could see the drop on the Bitcoin precisely corresponds to the drop in the 10 year yields on the fall time frame chart. Correspondingly, our prediction here should reverse Bitcoin once up again, and the target of the 67 is also could be reached that we discussed. I just using the momentum to make the update together on the Bitcoin and the gold. So, uh, that, that is how interest rates are very important currently, and it has the relation to the many uh, as, uh, other assets. So returning back to the uh, gold chart, what does it mean? It means that on the fall time from chart, take a look. Overall, free drive stands well. 
pullback of the gold from the 142-145 area could mean that gold could climb above the stop within the few few, few weeks, probably maybe one week. Uh, so this free drive has chance to be completed a bit later when this pullback will start. In the shorter term, this market is coming to 142. Uh, market could show, gold market could show some retracement up from here. So uh, on the hourly chart, we have near standing target. So gold could try to complete this XOP, 1827, that's our next target, and reach, uh, take a look at the confluence resistance, 1831, 1836. But then probably we should get some response, some reaction, especially if interest rates will start climbing to the 142, 145 area. So that's a cross-market analysis that we have uh, on these two uh, different markets. So as acceleration in general was not bad, chances that market will hit this level will still exist. So uh, besides on euro currency, we see something of the, of the same kind. So we have the same ABC patch where the major target has not been reached yet. And we think that uh, Probably these two targets, as in the euros and the gold, should be hit first before uh, corresponding reaction uh, will start. I mean, reaction on further uh, appreciation of the interest rates. So that's approximately what we think about the gold market.